Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, July 8th, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. So today I was kind of hoping we could wrap up the F5 big IP vulnerability issue. After all, we do have the workaround for a week now. We uh, do have patches available. And uh, well, uh, the exploitation traffic we have seen is still there. It's still ongoing. But uh, if anything, slowing down a little bit. And earlier today, I did the special webcast talking about how this exploit works and how the workaround and such blocks it. Well, it turns out there is a different version of this exploit out there. The NCC group tweeted about this uh, just uh, earlier uh, today that uh, they found a different exploit method being used to gain again code execution on F5 big IP devices. And again, this is something they have seen being used in the wild and it's not blocked by the simple workaround that F5 published that basically just blocks the dot dot semicolon in the URL. We'll see how this will develop, but uh, looks like that you still need to patch quickly and definitely please make sure that uh, you isolate the admin interface from the public. But since these last couple of weeks, all the Citrix ADC admins sort of laid back and watched the F5 big IP admins sweat. Well, uh, today Citrix came up with updates for Citrix ADC and Citrix Gateway, fixing 11 different vulnerabilities. Nothing here outrageously bad. There is one kind of interesting uh, vulnerability, CVE 2020-8194. It does allow code injection as an unauthenticated user, but it has that requirement that in order to exploit this vulnerability, the victim actually has to download and execute a malicious binary from uh, the admin IP address so I'm not often sure how uh, this would all uh, work out exactly. Doesn't look very likely that someone can come up with sort of a reproducible uh, exploit here. There are a couple of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities that do affect the administrator. So that may be a way how, for example, some malicious code could be injected. And Citrix also points out that configuring a dedicated admin interface and restricting access to that is important in order to lessen the impact of many of these vulnerabilities. And if you're at all involved in malware analysis and incident response these days, you're probably familiar with the challenges of capturing and analyzing memory images. Actually, Sans has a great class here by Elisa Torres, who's amazing in walking people through all of the different intricacy of memory forensics, but not everybody has the time or the skills to actually do it themselves. So Microsoft to the rest rescue. Microsoft today released to the public Project Freda, which uh, is an online service that allows you to automatically analyze memory snapshots. Now it's targeting virtual machines. In virtual machines, it's usually pretty straightforward to get a decent snapshot of a virtual machine's memory image. You upload it to Microsoft and I don't know how long it takes, but after a while, you'll get a fairly detailed report back and they have some samples here that lists processes that we're running, also analyzes files in memory and a number of other features that you typically get out of memory forensics. It also tries to find indicators of malware, in particular rootkits running on that machine. 
At this point, it's a free service. It's not clear if it will remain free. It's really a little bit more uh, in the experimental stage at this point, but it uh, looks really interesting. And yes, it fully supports uh, Linux. Actually, they're stating that uh, they support something like 4,000 different Linux kernels uh, with Freda currently to basically figure out anomalies. The only drawback I can see at this point is that, of course, you do have uh, to upload a memory image to Microsoft. Uh, so uh, that's something to keep in mind as you're using uh, this service. So read whatever privacy disclosure they have to figure out how the data is being used. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.